Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at this here. This is the Simgot EM6L Phoenix. Really beautiful packaging. I mean, looking at this, there's your chart right there. As you can see, this is going to be a really nice performer. There's no overall sharp peaks. But despite this right here, the, the mids are very, very good. We'll get into that in just a minute. Nice metallic packaging, high-res certification mark right there for those that care about that. And just overall, some really nice overall experience with this. Now, this doesn't come with a lot of different accessories, but the accessories it comes with, they're nice. Uh, this is a nice case. It's pill-shaped. It's got a nice little pouch there. can hold everything. You get these nice tips right here that are decent. They remind me of other tips from other companies that I like. So no complaints there. Sometimes the stock tips are just pure meh. They, they, they are mushy. Sometimes they just don't fit right. These stock tips are good. Looking at this cable, it is 3.5 millimeters. It is silver plated OFC. Very nice thickness to it, you know, not overly thick, and it has this nice kind of soft, kind of cushiony feel to it. The air hooks on this are super soft. Just overall super soft for the air hooks. They have, uh, they have actually some of the, 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 the most flexible tips, uh, tips, air hooks that I've, uh, seen i mean honestly sometimes they're like really really stiff and they're really tight or they're small like a little arch like that this one has a nice arch and it's just really soft it's as soft as the rest of the cable uh, so ergonomics on this are very good it's kind of guitar pick shaped uh, the nozzles however are a little short and stubby but they're they're not the smallest they're definitely not as small as say uh what was the one? The Hannah that I had. I think that was a lot smaller. Uh, some of the B-Lons, I think, are smaller. Overall, in general, just really, really nice build quality. It's made out of a 3D resin. Uh, isolation is very good. It is a fingerprint magnet, though, because it's got like a piano black. Uh, it's, it's resin printed, but it's like a piano black, almost like a metallic feel to it. I thought it was made out of metal. Will give your fingerprints, kind of drives me nuts, but you know, once it's in your ear, you really don't care about that. So isolation is good, comfort is good. The accessories are more than adequate uh, for something like this, especially something like this in the lower budget range. I think out of all the um, the one dynamic driver, four balanced armatures that have come in, which is kind of like a trend now, there's a whole bunch of those multiple um, hybrids and I think this one is the second cheapest. The first cheapest might be the VZ10. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look up the price. But if it isn't, then this one it would be the cheapest. Uh, coming in at about $109. Uh, for the performance that you get, very, very good. Because like one of them is my favorite. And it does really good. And it has more bass than this one. But it also has good technicalities and everything. And that one is like 300 bucks. Now this one comes out, it's just a little bit over 100 This one has some really good technicalities. Very good kind of neutral bass. Not that bass head pumping bass. But just overall a really good bass. And we'll get into that in just a second. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to get out of here. And we're going to go into my notes. Now we went over the specs. Uh, it's comfortable. It's made well. It's very lightweight material. Uh, decent, you know, overall you get what you need. You get various different size chips and you get the cable and the, and the case. Now the case adds to it because I get a lot of them that don't have a case. And a lot of times I'm like, I wish I had a case because then I have to go use one of my other cases. And I just like, you know, it to come with a case or a pouch. If it's a cheap, one of the cheaper ones, a pouch would be nice. So let's start at the base. This one is a little bit north. It is boosted in the base of a kind of neutralish Harman tuning. It is a U-shaped. Uh, it has 
very, very good sub bass there. The sub bass has excellent speed and decay. The sub bass also has some very good texture. Oh, it isn't highly textured, but it does have some very good texture there. There's some good depth, especially when you're listening to music that is boosted in the bass wise, uh, and that takes advantage of that. You can hear the rumble. Uh, if you're listening to something a little bit more neutral, then this I am would be a little bit more neutral in the bass. Uh, it reflects really well what you're listening to. It can dig down deep if it has to. Uh, there's some good details there. Like I said, there's good texture and, and tone overall, and just overall excellent speed in the bass and the mid bass. Uh, there isn't a lot of like heavy punch impact there, but there is some nice depth to the bass in general. Uh, like I said, it is kind of north of the neutral. Getting into the mid range, the mid range is very, very clear, uh, very, very detailed. Vocals are positioned forward, but they're centered, so they're just in front of the instruments. They're not in your face. Uh, there isn't overall too much brightness there. There isn't overall too much warmth. It's kind of just right, uh, just as with the you know the the note weight of them. Uh, it is not overly thick, and it is not overly thin. Uh, just really really in a good kind of safe tuning it's it's ama amazing how they got it in that way i mean i think it's one of the only ones that actually kind of falls in that like some of them they're a little bit shouty depending on your recording unit and and what you're listening to this one just no matter what you're listening to it will sound very good there there's no harshness no shoutiness there you're just getting some good vocals and you can hear them and they sound really natural and that is a theme with this one this is a very organic sounding uh i am and i'm going to just a little bit on it so you can see it overall very very nice nice there's almost like some see-throughness to the uh, cable too as well excellent uh so mid-range clear good there's good uh, instrument separation overall uh there's like i said there's some good body there it's not overly thick or thin it's just right it's just in the, that little goldilocks zone there and moving on to the treble the treble has a very good extension it doesn't overdo anything and when it rolls off finally, it rolls off naturally and, and in a gradual way. Uh, there's not just a sudden drop or a cliff there. It just rolls off very, very naturally without a lot of spikes. And that makes it extremely pleasant to hear, especially for people who are treble sensitive. Now, this is definitely not for a bass head, and this is definitely not for a treble head. This is for somebody that wants to have an IEM that you can basically listen to anything you want, depending on your mood. And it's going to sound good. I mean, really good with this. So you have a nice kind of almost smooth extension there. Uh, there's a very nice natural decay. Uh, there's some very good details and micro details there. And like I said, it never becomes harsh. There's no shoutiness. There's no nothing. There's good air and sparkle and energy with this one. You know, uh, part of the problem with the Kara was it was a little bit toward boring. And this one has just the right amount of energy and everything. I think everything about this is just the right amount. You know, some of them that came out, they're like super bass powered. Some of them are just very, very neutral and just, you know, a little toward the boring. And then this one comes out and it's just got enough of everything to just be a perfect daily driver for this, to be quite honest. Uh, your, your jack of all trades, your daily driver, perfect uh, for those specific tax, uh, tasks, not tax. Uh, and getting into like the technicalities now, it's got some excellent technicalities. It hits way above its weight in the technical area. Uh, separation air, just overall. So very good technicalities. Very nice, pleasant bass. Very good, nice mids. And excellent tuned treble especially for treble sensitive people and it's not boring treble it is good treble there's detail there's air there's sparkle there but it doesn't overdo it and it rolls off naturally and then we get into the sound stage now the sound stage is very organic and wide sounding 
uh, toward that holographic kind of area. There's good width, depth, and height to the sound stage, but it's also extremely accurate and pinpoint, you know, to the point where you could use this easily for gaming. Uh, honestly, sound stage, very, very good. Very nice sounding. Doesn't sound bad though sometimes they try to overemphasize the sound stage and it just doesn't sound right this one sounds very good uh, maybe not a natural field but it is natural sounding there's excellent placement there's excellent separation there so i think in general uh you know thinking about this i am number one it's automatically a favorite i like it um and i do have a whole bunch of this configuration but this one just hits right uh, out of the, the the ones that I have I think there's like three that I have and each one is completely different this is different from the Canon this is different from the Nova this is very different from the Cara and very different from the VZ10 and the it is uh, MS5 which has the same driver configuration so that said very good very very good and it lets this pan out and get this box in here EML6 this is nice packaging for it uh, really hits well for a budget I mean you, you got technicalities you got a sound that's very enjoyable a pleasant if you will and it does a lot of things good uh, really really good um, jack of all trades, master of none. No, I think that it does some things very well, uh, much better than some other ones. And, you know, for the price, I think you could do a lot worse than getting this, if that sounds like what you like. It's a Harman. It's got, you know, boosted uh, lower end, particularly the um, sub, but the mid bass is a little boosted too. It's just that the sub is a little bit more prominent, uh, depending on the equipment. Some people might listen to this and say that the mid is a little bit more prominent. It all depends on what you're listening to and what you're listening to on. Uh, for me, I like this. Uh, this is going to stay out because honestly, I, I can find a hundred uses for this. I can take this with me for the whole day. It's not going to fatigue your ears out. Uh, and you're going to get something that you're going to enjoy the music with. Uh, paired very well with the hip DAC and the Griffin and the V6 uh, DAP and also the uh, MS9 Pro Plus. Sound really, really good on that. My personally listening devices like the Bluetooth, I'm no longer testing with Bluetooth because Bluetooth changes the sound a little bit. There's always like a little bit more kind of difference in the sound between using a Bluetooth and using a high res, you know, dongle or something like that. Bluetooth is fine for casual listening. So that said, everything that was tested on this was tested, you know, without the Bluetooth. Uh, unofficially, some Bluetooth things I use sometimes, especially when I'm out. But for the most part, I like a nice wired connection to be testing. So that way I can get pinpoint exactly how it's going to sound depending on the device. Because I know what each device's limitations. So excellent. Overall, we're going to hit that... Uh, 14 minute thing in just a second. I want to keep it under, you know, 15 minutes for you guys. Try to keep it under 10, but sometimes things are complicated and complex and you just can't fit it into five minutes. Uh, it's tough, especially if I'm going to go do TikTok or something. It's very, very tough. So thank you so much for watching. Be safe. This has been the EM6L, the Phoenix. Uh, very, very good all around usage. Uh, excellent sounding uh i am thank you again be safe i'll see you in the next video